everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my RT Endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. You guys asked for it. It's time. It's time for the new studio tour. So give me a minute. We're going to flip you around and I'm going to bring you through. Be right back. Okay, I'm starting out with a picture of this lovely room here because this is where my art studio used to be. I had a 10 by 14 spot right here. Okay, that's where it used to be. This is now um, back originally to our family room. Sorry about that, that's a skylight. Um, so that's back to our family room. Now, that right there used to be a window looking out back. This right here used to be a window. So here we go. We're gonna go into my art room. We're gonna start out with my fantastic rugs. I love them. And my kitty cats love them too. They think they're really cool. So, all right, it's going to be a little bright here for a second. Let me see if I can, because the window is now there. But let's start here. We're going to start in this corner. This corner was originally going to be um, a sitting corner. I planned on having a chair here and just a bunch of bookshelves around me. That kind of got changed a little bit, okay? I do have a light up there, which is like a reading light. Um, this is just a big canvas that I've started putting leftover paint on. I have storage down in here. Right now there's not a lot of, in there. There's my blanket, um, a jacket, a couple bags. No big deal. Up here, of course, I have my Supernatural. I love, love, love that show. Just some odds and ends. And, of course, my boys. That is Jared Padalecki and Jensen Eccles. And I just love these guys. Anyways, so... Yes, my walls are purple. All right, we're gonna continue here. This is underneath the window, and this is completed um, personal journals as well as some art journals. Again, another really cool rug. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but this is my view outside. Um, what you see up there, that is a target for an air rifle. Um, we have just a great big huge field back there, which, um, the uh, farmers do corn and stuff in. Way down there you can see a neighbor, but we don't have neighbors close by, and of course that's Munchie's swing set. All right, so back in. This is Buster. He's checking things out. All right. This is, let me see if I can put this out. No, as far as it goes. This is my heat source. This is my pellet stove which I usually have going quite a bit. I just, I love my pellet stove. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick view around and then I'll try to go to different places. Uh, let's go up first. I had Hubs build me a shelf the whole way along this so I could just put some goodies. Of course, I have purple lights the whole way across this as well. And then there's two more windows that just lets in natural light, okay? This is my wall, well, they're all my walls, but this is my major wall for supplies. Um, just to give you a little bit of a rundown, let's go, I'm going to go around the room first. Nah, no, we're just going to do this as we do it. Um, odds and ends, odds and ends, ribbons, all kinds of stuff there. Um, pens, my um, sticker makers. My little kitty cat hanging out in the corner. Down here we have, oh, let's look. I don't know. That's full of washi tape right there. That's for the Mega Journal, which I haven't done the name yet. Supplies. These are all just blings and supplies and letters and buttons. And um, this is glitter. Yeah, that's full of glitter. My jars, just full of goodies. A tape shelf. More jars of goodies, and uh, more jars of goodies. Then we come over here. Whoops, watch out, Ebidu. That's my mascot, my little lion there. I love him. Um, here we go again, more supplies. Uh, this is all just stuff that, there's my Canvas Corp 4x4 canvas. You'll see that video coming soon. 
Beautiful card from Marianne McMillan. Sweet, sweet, sweetheart. Then what I had my hubs do is build me all these paint shelves. So I have my Target paint, my Liquitex, my Lumiere. I've got some golden fluorescents. I have my inks, my neons, my dilutions. Uh, this is all my modeling creams, um, my Viva modeling creams, my fluid acrylics, my uh, color bursts, and then more alcohol inks in there. These are all my golden paints. Then I have craft paints, and I have more craft paints. And then there's a shelf there that um, we did that way on purpose so I could sit stuff on it. And I'm sorry if this is shaky. Um, here's my mega journal. Uh, down here we have, I have folders with texture and painted papers and book text and a bunch of scrap papers. Uh, down below there is all die cuts in this one. This one is full of glitter glue, and this is all more die cut stuff. Keep going. I'm just going to keep going on the bottom. I've got collage, my paint rags right here. Um, this is all bling. This is more die cuts, and that's tags and scraps of, um, let me see. Yeah, tags and scraps of papers stuff that I use to make different postcards and that kind of stuff with okay then we have this bottom shelf has got like my oil pastels my woodies my um, uh, my gel pens these are all my gel pens these are chalks these are um, some gel pens these are my Neo Color 2's. This is full of my Spectrum Noirs. Um, next shelf up. I tried to take all these paints and do them other than the branded, like the Dina Wakely, the Dilutions, the Gold, and that kind of stuff. Even with those, I still tried to do them under like paint families. Like here's all my blacks. Here's all my browns and creams and tans and golds. And here's some white. Okay. This shelf is Dina Wakely. I absolutely love her paints. Next shelf, this is a, a, an array of, um, oh, what am I thinking? Um, craft paints, just, just craft paints and inks. So I've got blacks and browns and peaches and whites, and then I go into the pinks and oranges and yellows and greens and greens and blues and purples. There's my metallic paints, metallic luster. Uh, these are all daubers. These are all these daubers. A lot of them are almost empty. I just have to go through those. My Montana markers. Um, these are actually bingo daubers. Years ago I used to play bingo and there's nothing wrong with them. They work pretty cool. Um, and then some glitter glues. This I think is an empty tin. Yeah, it's empty. Alright, next shelf. There's two of the loves of my life. My hubs and my grandbaby, Miss Haley. And there's another Miss Haley. One of them. Okay, um, here, this is getting into my paint area. Just some, these are all stamps up here. Uh, this is all sprays. This is all um, six by six craft paper. Um, these are my tattered angels, which I gotta find a place for those. This is, or was, a toolbox, and I can't back up any further, um, that I, we actually bought this at a yard sale. It has the base and the top. I paid like 10 bucks for it, 15 bucks, something like that. Brought it home, and of course, first thing I did was I stole the top, I modged it, you know, clodged a bunch of stuff on it. And what I use this for, this is my paint. This is my mark making tools. Um, you name it, it's in here. A uh, little car for wheels. Um, this is my mark making tools. If you watch my videos, you know what I do with all this stuff. And then all my drawers have paint stuff in them. Flip-flops and silicone mats. This is just odds and ends. Then we go down into foamies. Um, I really love these foamies by Julie Felfan Balzar. These are the first ones I bought. Love, love, love them. These are homemade foamy stamps. Uh, these are just some things I found on clearance. Okay. Next one down, more foamies. Um, if you go to Hobby Lobby, 90% of the time you can find these on clearance for like 25 cents or 30 cents. Um, absolutely love using them. 
That is just storage. I'm not going to bend over and pull that out. That's just storage, a bunch of junk in there. All right. Next shelf over. Oh, here's a girl that's going to be coming up on a video soon. She was just drawing. Sit her over here. Okay, this next shelf. This is my paint uh, area, and I'll show you. I haven't even looked at the dust yet. Well, keep going. I'll just shush. Um, this is all stuff that I want to make into altered journals, um, papers, paper bags, all anything you want to put paint on. Um, I have old magazines in there. I have um, these are just um, like paper towel and that kind of tubes. I have a roll of craft paper here. This is all just scraps, scrap papers, um, tissue paper, whatever I decide I may want to paint on. Again, same here. This is all scraps I can just grab to put paint on. That's an empty tin. I'm sure I'll fill it up soon. These are both full of stencils that I use at my paint table. These are both full of stamps. Okay, now my stamps. These are my stamps. Um, I had Jeff make me the shelves so that I could set these on here with the clear um, cases. So these are all stamps. And then these are some extra stamps. These are the little um, gorgeous girls that I just got, which are really cool. Haley can't wait to play with those. So that's the little gorgeous girls. Um, then the shelves that go up, he made them for me so that I could put my wooden stamps on them and still be able to see them all. So that's all my wooden stamps. Okay. All right, so that is one complete wall. The next wall. This one I had him build for me so that I could put my punches up. So here's all my punches. So now I can just walk over, grab what I want, and boom, we're done. Um, this is basically storage down in here, a couple extra uh, paint trays. This is my um, junk book. I'm sure you guys have seen. Let me just lay it over here. Um, I just take all kinds of stuff, glue it all in, and then cut it all out and make little cards with it. So that's what that is. Um, back over here, we got storage. We have a paint bucket. Um, this is all junk journal making supplies. Uh, boxes and cereal boxes and all kinds of random stuff in there to make junk journals out of. My big jelly plate. My other two jelly plates. Where's my finger? There and there. Okay, next wall. Or I should say next unit. This next unit, the top is basically storage. This is full of paint that I use when I travel. Um, this is journals all in process. This is just random stuff. Um, I've got ephemera, tags. Uh, this is more brand new ATT, ATCs and tags. Um, just random stuffs. Little books I want to use. Maybe some ephemera. Um, plastics. I don't know. All kinds of stuff in here. Just stuff. Okay. Then we have my, this is my, a bunch of punches. This is um, by, I don't know, this is my cinch. That's cinch things. Here's my cinch. There's a bunch of punches in there. More cinch stuff right there. This one is just junk. Um, junk and foamy and felt. This is sewing stuff. Um, I used to make a lot of dolls and stuff, so I have a bunch of hats and hair and all that kind of stuff. And the very bottom is also sewing stuff. Alright, we're going to keep going. Um, this is down there. Whoops, I can't get my finger in there. Down there, right there. That is for like planners and more making journal stuff. This is all um, fabric stuff. This is what I was talking about, the doll hair, there's cords, there's um, in these boxes right here. Storage, um, actually this one's full of fiber. This one belongs over on the other thing, so doesn't that one. Oh, let's see what else. Um, ephemera, this is wooden pieces. These are just little felt thingies, they actually belong over here. 
Sorry, hope I'm not making you dizzy. Um, this is die cutting stuff. Uh, these are my folders. Um, and this is a border maker by, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It used to be, um, there you go, Creative Memories. This is a border maker by Creative Memories. Okay. Uh, keep going. Again, back to the journals. This is all journals that I have made. These are all empty. Got some empty planners. Um, this is all planner stuff in here. Okay. These are all die cuts. Um, they're all dies. A lot of Tim Holtz. Um, all kinds of dies. Silhouette. There's my silhouette there. There's my laminator there. Okay, down there we have card making stuff. Um, blank cards, blank cards, uh, done Christmas cards, blank cards. This is all some stained glass stuff. I'll actually show you this, guys, this stuff. This is stuff. Let me show you. Hang on. Hold on. Um, prior to... Sorry, honey, I moved you over. Prior to uh, doing mixed media, I was a stained glass artist. And these are just some pendants and keychains that I would sell. Um, I have a kiln downstairs. But these are all just some necklaces and some pendants that um, are just really cool. Just neat glass. Oops, someone's upside down. See? So, this was my old pharma art. Um, be honest with you, do I miss it? Not really. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Stained glass is a lot of work. I'll actually show you some stained glass pieces that I made also. Okay, so we went through that shelf. The next shelf. This, my friends, is all 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. The left side is all cardstock scrapbook paper. The right side is all paper, scrapbook paper. These are my core main colors, core colors, um, extra pads, and junk storage. All right, so there's that wall. The next wall, um, storage up top, more storage. I have a bunch of clear bottles and stuff, so if I want to put doodads and whatever in them. This area is canvases. These are canvases I've either completed or they're in process. Like, for example, okay, this is my baseball girl. She's done. Um, what am I going to do with these? I have no idea. My owl. Uh, just a snowman, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I have no idea. So these are all canvases. Here's one that's in progress. I haven't finished her. She needs a lot of help. Um, just ones that I used to play with. Okay. Down here, oh, there's one of my aprons. Um, down here, I have scrapbooks. These, uh, these are extras. Those are the ones that are in process, in progress. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't touched my scrapbook in over a year. This is more scrapbook stuff. Again, more card making and scrapbook stuff. That is all stickers, cardboard and scrapbooking. Um, or not card making and scrapbooking down here is uh, mini canvases blank canvases there's empty blank canvases there is shipping boxes over there this is um, completed Halloween cards and then new cards and I'm not sure what's on the bottom there next shelf the very bottom all of this is Christmas uh, the next shelf up, we've got a little bit more Christmas. These are all letters that I used in my scrapbooking. They're folders full of letters. Those are all envelopes and extra cards right here. This shelf. This shelf is metals. Um, all kinds of metal stuff. There's a couple of sheets of metal. Like, I don't know if you can see. See? It's just full of metal stuffs. Okay. More metal stuffs. Um, this is die cuts for Christmas that won't fit on the bottom of the Christmas. This is full of wire, and this is chipboard stuff. 
Okay. Next shelf up, this is Electronic Mayhem. Anything that has to do with electronics or whatever is there. Um, you know, uh, iPad cases, speakers, headphones, whatever. Electric pencil sharpener, which I've never used. A couple extra dryers. Um, a photo machine. Uh, I can print photos off on that. One of my diffusers um, for my essential oils, which i got to get set back up in here. This is all labels and envelopes, and that is full of jewelry making stuff. That is, again, the storage stuff. Um, extra sponges, and that is full of um, paintbrushes. Okay, next one. We're getting there, and then I get to go through the desk. <laughs> all right, very bottom shelf is empty. Woohoo! <laughs> next one up is all my glues and tapes. Um, this one has got mediums and rubber stamp making stuff and glue guns and wipes. This box is full of empty little bottles. Oh no, it's not. Oh, that doesn't go there. Huh. That's full of junk I need to get hung up or put away. Sorry about that. Um, must be the one over there is full of the empty bottles. This is extra tapes and cords and that kind of stuff. This is all bead making supplies. I used to make necklaces and that kind of stuff out of the beads and earrings and that kind of stuff. Here I have, these are just, these are my extra cell phone cases. These are little notebooks that I use for my daily sketch. My glitter lamp, isn't that cool? I found that in Five Below and I just had to have it. Um, my big coffee cup. And then I had to have these flowers because they were purple. I found them in the dollar store and I just thought they were really cool so they have to go in my big coffee cup. This is, I love trolls. I have always loved trolls. It's my artist troll. This is a um, owl of course from the Thirsty Owl wine company that my son used to work at and this is an owl my sister made me. Um, I have firearms available and we'll put it that way. Uh, let's see, here's a Gina Aaron's watercolor. Okay, on this wall is my stereo, a couple other things. Um, Xbox, so that I can play Netflix in here. Toaster oven, so I can melt plastics and stuff. I haven't done that in a while. Um, this is essential oils and CDs. That down there is extra magazines and um, stuff that I can use for collage purposes. And then this is... Um, Extra mats, uh, my score, my big score uh, block, uh, and extra paper cutters. Boy, I can't think today. All right, we're going to keep going. This is just junk that's eventually going to get out of here. This wall, I had Jeff put on some um, chicken wire, as you can see. And what I did, and I'm going to take this all down because I want to do it new for 2017. But what this is, is anybody that sends me little cards or little pieces of art or any of that kind of stuff, it gets put up on this wall. So you may recognize some of your art there. If you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. It will be put in um, a nice little box to hang on to. So... Just so you guys know, for 2017, if you want to be on my wall, I call this my wall of fame. If you want to be on my wall of fame, shoot me something and I'll make sure it gets put up here. This is what I use all those clothespins for that um, I talked about when we did the decorating of the clothespins, my um, granddaughter and I. Okay, so that's what that is. There she is. All right, let me back up and give you a big view of that wall. Okay, that was the wall we just went. There is a TV up there. Um, a couple different pictures of things I've done and things that have been sent to me. So that's that wall. There's the back wall that we talked about. And here's this other wall. Now, we're going to go into the desk. So when I walk into my room, I have this desk here. Now this desk um, I have made into my... It's basically where I have to get my work done, whether it be... 
um, my video, editing video, or writing in my journal, or my daily sketch, which is right here. Look at this guy. Ain't he cool? He is such a cool little pot. Um, my son found him at a yard sale, and the lady told him that she had this sitting on her desk for 30 years in school, and it held pencils. So I just thought that was really cool. It holds my scissors there. But um, So this is, like I said, this is my work desk. This is where I sit when I have to get some stuff done. All right. Uh, this shelf we just put here for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. There's some electronic stuff there. Just have a bunch of pens and pencils and stuff up there, random. I got to figure out what to do. That box is full of stamps, which doesn't belong there. This bin has some tools in it. Um jewelry making tools, that kind of stuff, extra scissors, some punches. This down here has more tools in it that has my drill and my hammers and all kinds of stuff like that. And here's some more paper cutters right here. All right, then we come this way and I've got two carts here. That cart, uh, the bottom shelf, just I don't know what that is, just some type of a random string. The next shelf up is, is scrap paper and the very top right now is the Canvas Corp brand stuff that I've put in there for right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay that way or not. Then this shelf, this cart uh, used to be, one of these used to be my paint cart for when I was on the couch when I had to do a lot of pain management. Um, I've since emptied them. If I can't do art, I don't, I just don't do it on the couch. I do other things like journal, that kind of stuff. Just some paper towels, a couple rags, um, empty basket right now. This is just some stuff I like to have handy. Here's odds and ends that haven't been put away yet. Um, these are just full of stuff I like to play with. A um, couple journals in progress here. Bag full of words. Um, some tags down in there. Okay. Then this, let me turn the lights on. This is the actual desk where I create. Um, this desk is, hmm, just got stuff on it. All my scissors and uh, my bone folder, my punches that I use frequently, that kind of stuff is there. All my sponges, the, some of the wet mediums that I use. This is a sculpture. I'm going to bring it down so you can see it better. This is a sculpture that my husband bought for me for Christmas. Isn't this fantastic? I absolutely love it. Let me come down here. She is so beautiful. I just love her. She's painting. Look at her paintbrush. And that's an actual real paintbrush that she's holding there. She is just phenomenal. I think she is so cool. And Hub says when he saw this, he thought of me. <laughs> so, and it says on the bottom, um, 2016, you are what you paint. So that was really, really cool. This is my little guy, Supernatural guy, Dean. I want Sam and Castiel and all the other characters, um, Crowley, and I just haven't gotten them yet. Bobby and this little guy found in a thrift shop. He has a little artist palette on his. Isn't he cute? Um, that's me and my daddy. Alright, again, my boys. Right here. Alright, back up. Um, this is all, that's all my mini uh, Tim Holtz sta um, inks. Pens. Um, I have golds and just funky pens there. Blacks. Uh, these are actual pens, black markers. This is silver and gold and copper. Of course, you can see the colors there. That's all pencils. This is all gel pens. That's all glitter glues and sticks. And there's all my whites. This little guy is just a trash can I keep here on my desk. Um, this shelf has kind of got a mod podge of stuff in it. Ha. See? My stash. <laughs> my other stash. <laughs> um, this has just got randomness. All kinds of randomness there. Um, my post-it notes, which that actually has to go over on my other desk. So I got an empty thing there. Um, this is my little mini sewing machine. You're going to see more of this. I actually had it moved over to my desk so I can use it now on camera. Because I like to sew stuff. This is my Scoot and Do. You'll see a video coming out on that soon. This here... And again, this you're seeing a real studio because there's a mess. There's messes all over the studio. Um, this is the... 
um, stencils that I use the most. I really like the 6x6 stencils. I find them much more convenient than the larger ones. So those are the ones I use. The, actually, those are all my 6x6. And then, of course, I have the Tim Holtz ones, so they lay here. And then in this little, it's an old photo book from God only knows how long ago. I put all my little stencils in this so that they don't get lost in the shuffle. So all my little ones are in here, and this just lays on top of that. This here is my basic stuff I use. This is my daily. My paintbrushes and brayers and gessos and that kind of stuff. My paint palette is here, my cutting board, that kind of stuff. This bottom container has, the top one is tape. Ugh. It's all tapes. This is all glues. This is inks um, and stamps. This one is bling and junk. Ugh. Here's more junk. Just all kinds of junk. And watercolors. So that's that. Ugh. All right. Phew. All right. Next one. This is my paint table. Um, I have a camera here, um, and this is when I do my jelly prints or um, whatever, painted papers. Um, that doesn't belong there. Like, here's a bunch of, I sprayed my tattered angels to see what colors they were, and here's a bunch of painted papers. And again, this is where that stuff over there behind me comes into play with all the scraps, envelopes, and cards, and whatever the case may be. These are those yellow cards that I use. Okay, so that's my paint table. Um, brushes I use on my paint table. This is just odd and end stuff. Um, brayers, water, gesso, pencils, scrapers, tape, you name it. Okay, now this is the desk that you just saw recently that I gave to my husband. Um, this used to be a desk that my girlfriend would come over and she would make cards on while I was working in mine. Well, now this has turned into a railroad desk. So my husband has a great big huge layout downstairs that, um, so he's building that and this is his bridge and stuff he's building. This here, oops, hang on, drop something. Huh, don't know what that is. Okay, this, this here, this bookshelf is, um, the very bottom is all down here, where I can't see, right down here is all empty journals. This is all art books. Um, these are like, I don't know if you can see, these are like doodle books and that kind of thing, coloring books, that's there. The next shelf over, that one down below is all old books that I may alter or use stuff out of, like old dictionaries or that kind of stuff. The next shelf up, these are all art instruction books. So these are books that you may see coming on my book reviews for um, my year 2017. So keep an eye out for that. Again, piles of junk I haven't put away yet. Things that need to be sent out, things that need to go away. This is a hood that I cut off one of my sweatshirts because it was driving me nuts. My printer, file cabinet with printer paper in it. Okay, so now you have seen my entire art space okay so there it is oh I forgot the best thing yay there's my fan these are the ceiling blades um, the fan blades that I painted um, they used to be a real ugly gray now they're all real pretty so again I'll just do a quick swing around um, just so you guys know, the supplies and stuff that I have, it's, I've always been crafty and creative, um, so really adding mixed media, you know, yeah, it put me more into the die cuts, it put me more into paints, um, I've always loved stamping and card making, that kind of stuff, so, um, you know, not everybody is going to have a space like this. I get it. Uh, I started out with a little desk in the front room. And um, I've grown, as you can see, a lot. And it's just, um, my husband now wanted to make me a space. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab the hubs and uh, chat with him for a minute. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're downstairs. And this is the guy that we need to say thank you to for my beautiful, beautiful art space. Thank you, my dear. Well, you're welcome, love. What made you decide to uh, build me my own room? Because um, there was so much stuff in our living room <laughs> that it was time to have your own room. Uh, and so well, that's what started it. It's awesome, and I appreciate it. And he did this. He built it by hand, including digging out the bank that was behind the uh, art room. And it took him about six months to do. So, yeah, about that. thank you, thank you very much. And just a sneak peek, guys. Um, see, somebody else is just as crafty as I am. This <laughs> right here is a train layout that he is in the process of building. This is in our basement. So, yeah, it's not just me. And I'm going to show you, he's got his own little workspace here for his train stuff. Yeah, you got your own workspace. Why do you have one of my desks? <laughs> That's my desk. To spend time with me. That's my desk. I see that. So this is all his train stuffs. And of course, you know, when you go to Hobby Lobby and you find stuff on clearance, you got to pick it up. So so he's in the process of building this. There's one of his shelves that he built years ago. But so here is his fun. So take a bow, my sir. Thank you very much for building me my art Welcome. studio. I love you. I love you too. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.